Good morning to you. It's about uh, 5.20. This is Walk and Talk 114. It's a uh, beautiful 78 degrees in uh, Mesa, Arizona, Phoenix. Uh, Tempe, Chandler, Gilbert, uh, June 16th. It's a Thursday morning. Just a gorgeous uh, early morning. There's a little coolness in the air. It's not yet a an oven-like temperature, uh, but it'll climb up into the 106, 107 today. Have you thought about uh, umpires or referees? Have you thought about rules and regulations and boundaries and balls and strikes? Uh, let me ask you the question. Uh, who calls the balls and strikes. Well, we would say that's the the referee, that's the uh, umpire. But here's the title today of this walk and talk. Who needs rules? Who needs boundaries? Who needs laws? So, who calls the balls and strikes? Who needs umpires? Who needs referees? Now think with me, who needs judges? Who needs teachers? Who needs police? Who needs a, a mom or a dad? Who needs a, a mentor, a coach? Who needs someone who can explain the rules? Identify the boundaries and what the laws are. I'm in James chapter 3, starting in verse 13. And lots of us are going through life uh, basically with no boundaries. Uh, there's uh, no laws. Everything changes. It's topsy-turvy. It's fluid. Uh, who needs regulations? Who needs a manual to how to put things together? Who needs an operating manual how to run things? James chapter 3, verse 13. Uh, it's great wisdom. Uh, James 3, 13. Who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show... Show this by good behavior, deeds in the gentleness of wisdom. Let me repeat that. Who among you is wise and understanding? Show it by your good behavior and your deeds in gentleness of wisdom. And here's the next verse. This is James 3.14. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be arrogant and lie against the truth. In these two verses, the Bible says there is truth. If there's truth, there's error, there's falsehood. So what you have in these two verses, James chapter 3, verse 13, is the Bible is just simply saying everybody needs rules. You can be wise or foolish. Who among you is wise and understanding? And the opposite is true. Who among you is foolish and not so smart? And show your wisdom and show your understanding by good behavior, deeds of gentleness, of wisdom. So the Bible is saying, uh, according to verse 14, you can be bitter. If you have bitter jealousy, you can be resentful of what the next person has. And you can be selfish, according to verse 4, selfish ambition in your heart. 
And you can be so bitter, so selfish that you can be arrogant and lie against the truth. So who calls balls and strikes for you? Who are the umpires in your life? Who are the teachers in your life? Who are the referees? Who helps you see the boundaries, the regulations, the laws, the rules? What you have to back up and understand is you can be wise and understanding. You can have good behavior. You can have deeds of gentleness in your wisdom. Or, according to James 3.14, you can be bitter. You can be jealous. You can be selfish. You can lie against the umpire. Lie against the referee. You can lie against the rules. You have in James chapter 3, verse 13 to 14, answer, answers to the question, who needs rules? Who needs boundaries? Who needs laws? Who calls the balls and strikes? And the answer is, you have a choice. Verse 13, yes, there are laws. Yes, there are rules. Yes, there are boundaries. And verse 14 is basically saying, or you can have no laws, no rules. You can be bitter. You can be hateful. You can be arrogant. My question to you is, do you have rules? Do you have boundaries? Or are they fluid? My question is, in the, the game of baseball, you have umpires. Why? Because without umpires calling balls and strikes, the players and the coaches and even the spectators, they're going to go crazy because somebody's got to call the ball and strike. That's the judges. That's the referees. That's the umpires. Most of us are walking through life here in the month of June 2022 and basically have given up on the boundaries. We've given up on the, the rules, the regulations. We're basically attacking the referees. We're attacking the uh, umpires. As a matter of fact, have you gone to a Little League uh, baseball game lately? Or some beginning sports event? Have you watched the, the, the uh, ugliness, the anger, the hostility that comes from uh, moms and dads in the stands as they watch their kids play sports? And they disagree with the umpire. They disagree with the decisions the coach makes. And the relatives actually become hostile. Who calls your balls and strikes? Who sets your boundaries? Who determines the laws that you're going to live by? I'm suggesting to you, the Bible is saying you have two choices. You can have an, an umpire that is wise. You can have an umpire that's understanding. You can have an umpire that has wisdom, that's gentle. You can have an umpire that has good behavior. Or, I'm saying to you, according to verse 14, you can have an umpire that's jealous, that's bitter, that's selfish, that lies against the, the truth, changes the laws, changes the strike zone, calls a ball a strike, a strike a ball. What kind of umpire do you want? What kind of regulations do you want in your life? What kind of laws do you want? What kind of boundaries? When you look at James chapter 3, verse 13 and 14, verse 13 is the wisdom 
of God. It's wise. You can have the umpire God. You can have the referee God who's understanding. He's wise. God's behavior, God's regulations, God's laws are good. And God's deeds offer wisdom that is gentle. Contrast the umpire God with the umpire man. Verse 14, how many people do you know struggle with bitter jealousy? How many human umpires have selfish ambition in their heart? They can throw a game. They can uh, lie against the truth. They can stack the deck. They can call a ball a strike, a strike a ball. They can lie against the truth. Think with me. Are you a James 3.13 person, umpire, player, or are you a James 3, 14, umpire, person, player? When you see a, an individual who is struggling, when you find someone who uh, is lying against the truth, when you find someone who is bitter, hateful, mean, how do you want to, what do you want to do with that person? You want to be, you want to be ugly, you want to be mean-spirited, you want to be a bully, and you want to rip that person apart? Or do you want to act like verse 13? You want to see that person who's got problems. You want to be wise and understanding. You want to show them good behavior, gentleness. You want your wisdom to come from God. You, do you want to be a, a God-like umpire or a man-like umpire? Symbolically speaking, do you want to trust your wisdom or do you want to trust God's wisdom you want to determine right and wrong humanly or do you want God to determine right and wrong you want to trust your wisdom or do you want to trust what the Bible says the wisdom of the good book James chapter 3, verse 13 14 is calling all of us out. You have basically two choices. Verse 13, you can have God as your umpire. And you can follow God and you can become wise and understanding. You can produce good behavior, good deeds. And you can have wisdom that feels gentle. Now you can choose to reject the umpire God the the book of rules the bible and you could be verse 14 you can be that bitter person that jealous person that selfish person that arrogant who lies against the truth james chapter 3 verse 13 and 14 is asking the question what kind of an umpire do you want to be and what kind of umpire do you want calling your balls and your strikes? What kind of referee? What kind of, of an individual? Do you want someone wise and understanding? Who has good behavior? Who's gentle in wisdom? Or you want an umpire that's going to be jealous and bitter and selfish? and gonna call balls, strikes, and strikes balls. You want an umpire that's gonna lie and manipulate the laws to the umpire's favor? Or do you want someone who's fair and balanced? Uh, we call justice blind justice. It's justice if it's blind, meaning 
it's justice if there's no bias. There, it's justice if it's the laws are applied equally. Have you noticed how in our society the, the regulations, the laws are being ignored? Have you noticed that everywhere you look, balls are called strikes and strikes are called balls? Have you noticed we don't have too many boundaries anymore? That things are fluid? That when you try to determine right and wrong, have you noticed it's all relative? Another way to say this, have you noticed that right and wrong doesn't have any lines anymore? Have you found out that up no longer means up? Down no longer means down. Left no longer means left. Right no longer means right. Have you found out that the basic definitions are being changed? Have you found out that we live in a in a world, we're living in a in an age where there are no rules. As a matter of fact, have you noticed there's no need for police? There's no need for regulations. There's no need for umpires. There's no need for blind justice. Justice is not what the rules say, justice is what I say. A strike is only what I say. And when you come back to the baseball analogy, that all of the baseball players on the field are umpires. All the coaches are umpires. Have you noticed all of the, the fans in the stand, they're all umpires. And go back with me to Little League. Have you noticed all of the moms and dads and the parents and relatives are umpires and they determine what's a ball and what's a strike. They determine what's fair. Have you noticed we've eliminated the umpire? I mean a, a just umpire. I'm talking about an umpire that's, that's fair. Have you noticed how easy it is for us to quit living by boundaries. We don't need rules. We don't need regulations. We don't need laws. How do you know if, if you've walked away from a good umpire? How do you know if you've, you're turning your back on a, a wise, a just umpire? Well, listen to me again in verse 13. Who among you is wise and understanding? Show it by good behavior, in good deeds, watch this, in gentleness of wisdom. Let's just take one point of verse 13. What verse 13 is saying is a just umpire or a just parent or a just teacher or a just police officer or a, a just judge will be gentle in wisdom. Do you like to hang around people that are bullies? No, you prefer to be around people that are wise and gentle. But according to verse 14, there's a different type of person, a different type of umpire, a different type of judge. And this would be the person who's bitter and jealous and selfish, who's arrogant and lies. Have you noticed how easy it is to lie? How easy it is to flip the truth and deny the truth and we become victims and we want to blame other people for all the problems and there's we have no fault whatsoever. So a couple of points for you to remember. Verse 13 is the type of person you want to be. James 3.13 is the type of person 
you you want to look in it for an umpire. It's the type of person as a mom or a dad or friend or teacher or pastor or coach. You want to trust someone if they're wise and understanding, if they have good behavior, if their wisdom and demeanor is gentle. But you don't want to trust someone who's bitter. You don't want to trust someone who's jealous. You don't want to get behind someone who's selfish and who lies and arrogant. So number one, get behind the people that are wise and gentle in the sight of God. Get behind, support, follow, listen to people who are wise and gentle because they follow the good book. If the person is not gentle, let that be a question mark for you. You don't want to get behind the person that's bitter. You notice how bitter jealousy can just destroy people? You don't want to get behind a referee who has selfish ambition. You don't want to get behind a friend that has selfish ambition. If you got a boss at work and they have a they're not gentle, there's a bitterness, there's a there's an arrogance, there's a lie against the truth. There's selfishness going on. You don't you might if I was you, I would just say find a different job. If you're thinking about getting married what kind of person do you want to marry you want to marry verse 13 someone who's wise and understanding and gentle who has good behavior or do you want to marry someone who's bitter and jealous and selfish who's arrogant and lies according to to this verse here these two verses, what kind of pastor do you want? You want a pastor at church? You want someone who has good behavior, someone who's gentle in wisdom? Or verse 14, do you want a pastor that's got an attitude, bitter, arrogant, uh, lies? Do you want a pastor who sticks to the Bible? Or you want a pastor who, who goes off the Bible and lies against God. What kind of person do you want to be? Can I just challenge you or nudge you? You want to be a James 3.13 person. And the answer to how do I do that, James 3.13, is you don't do James 3.14. So some practical ways to do James 3.13? Look at James 3.14. Are you struggling with bitterness? Are you mad or angry because uh, life didn't go the way you wanted it to go because you had difficulties and you don't like them and somebody did you wrong and you're bitter and you, you want the bigger house next door, you want the the more costly car you want the better clothes that somebody else has are you struggling with bitter jealousy well how about selfish ambition you uh, you really want to be selfish and take advantage of people that's in your heart you want to be prideful remember the Bible says Pride comes before the fall. Do you want to lie against God? Do you want to lie against the rules? Lie against the boundaries? Do you want to lie against strikes and, and balls? you want to keep flipping the truth upside down? you want to live your life where there's no consistency? you want to forget that God is God? He is the umpire? 
and he is good and God is wise and God is gentle with his application of wisdom. You know, the Bible says, vengeance is mine, says God. We have to be real careful not to be jealous and bitter and seek revenge. God can get correction. God can give discipline. God can give uh, application of appropriate consequences. We struggle, don't we? I'm just suggesting to you, you need rules. I need rules. You need boundaries. I need boundaries. We both need laws. We need uh, an umpire. We need a referee who is going to live in the strike zone. And if it's a strike, call it a strike. If it's a ball, call it a ball. And don't change the rules. We have to be careful as we live our lives that there are absolutes. There, there are, there's, there's right and wrong. And who determines what's right and wrong? And I'm gently saying to you, the Bible says God does. Listen to the next two verses. We're going to do James chapter 3, verse 15 and 16. We might get into that next week, but listen to this. Here's James 3, 15. This bitter wisdom, this selfish wisdom, this arrogant wisdom, these lies, this wisdom does not come down from heaven. But this, this arrogance, bitterness, this lies, this jealousy is earthly. It's demonic. It's natural. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing. Think of the word disorder. So have you noticed... How many people are not at peace? They're in turmoil. Have you noticed how much worrying and stressing is going on? Where jealousy and selfish ambition exists, there is disorder. There is conflict. There is stress and every evil thing. You want to find the good life? You got to go back to James chapter 3 verse 13 and get behind the umpire, the referee, God. And you want to follow, submit to his rules, to his regulations, to his strikes, to his balls. This is Walk and Talk 114, uh, June 16th. It's a great morning. Uh, I want to invite you to worship with us this coming Sunday at 8 o'clock, 9.30, 11 uh, in the worship center and 11 o'clock upstairs in the upper room and also at 6 p.m. We have lots of Bible classes for children, for teenagers, for adults of all ages. Uh, Father's Day, we're, we're offering free donuts uh, to fathers and grandfathers and and kids and we just encourage you to to enjoy that uh, it's a great day to to smile uh, find find the laws of God find the rules of God find the balls and strikes of God and get behind God uh, it's starting to warm up but it's a great day. Blessings on you.